Hi, I'm Luke Bissell at the University of Rochester, and this is my colleague. I'm Josh Shonley, also at the University of Rochester in the Laboratory for Laser Energetics. Our demonstration is about light pollution, and so what we're wanting to do is uh, illustrate some of the main uh, aspects of light pollution as it affects astronomy, uh, biology, and the engineering sciences. And mainly, it can be summarized as saying light pollution uh, hurts astronomers by polluting the skies, they can't see the stars as well. Um, it affects biology by disrupting the behavior of animals at night. And actually also, uh, it's been suggested that uh, light pollution affects humans, uh, can uh, actually lead to increased risk of cancer. There's some studies that have suggested that. Um, and of course, with engineering, the idea is that you want to design light fixtures which direct light where you want it uh, and not up into the sky and also to use more efficient light sources. And we uh, put together a simple little demonstration to show the effect of what's called sky glow, i.e. You know, light going up in the sky, reflecting off the atmosphere and uh, making it so that you can't see the stars as well. So what we did was we made this little light tight box and uh, what Josh will do is um, the observer kind of puts his head underneath the plastic here, sits in this chair, and inside what you have is a, um, at, at the back there's a cardboard, a piece of cardboard with some, some pinholes in it which simulate the stars. And then there's also this, this light bulb which we can vary the current through, uh, and it's like a street lamp. So what we tell people to do is, you know, put their head under there and look at the back of the board and with the plastic over their head there's a there's a lamp back here why don't you sit down sure. there's a lamp back here which illuminates the backboard and it makes it so you can see stars okay and we tell them to pick out the dimmest star that they can see on that on that board and then we turn up the current to the light bulb and as we do that uh, it, it, it makes it so that the, their, their view of the stars washes out because of the, the light from that bulb in there. Now there's also a, uh, there's a lampshade that they can put over the bulb. Yeah, this guy here. And as they put that over the bulb, then that makes it so that uh, the light that goes towards the back of the box, towards the stars, uh, is not as much. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so as, you, so as you slide this over, uh, and then as you slide it back over, now you can see the stars at the back better if you had the plastic over your head. Um, and what it does two things for you. It's, um, it, illuminate, it illuminates the stars less. It also, there's a, you can't see it from the camera, but there's a target in here and it has some, some letters printed on it, which when the lampshade is over the bulb, it directs the light towards those letters of, of being able to use uh, directional shielding for lighting, which allows them to see the stuff on the ground, which, which needs to be illuminated, uh, puts less light towards the stars. Uh, they can use less energy for the lighting, which is you know, better for your energy bill, better for the environment, better for everyone concerned, right? Um, there was one other aspect of this demonstration that we weren't able to show over here, and that was the idea of with security lighting that more lighting is, is better. That's only true up to a point, because as you increase the brightness of your security lighting, you're creating deeper shadows. And if you, actually, I don't know if you can see it on the laptop. Uh, there's two images here, the same, uh, the same criminal hiding behind a van. And the, when the light is brighter, uh, there's a deeper shadow here and you can actually see it uh, better with a, with a dimmer light on the right. So, yeah, basically the idea that uh, you really need to consider um, the brightness of your lighting, how that's gonna affect the contrast of what you're trying to look at. So the take home message is, uh, use directional lighting, use more efficient lighting, um, save your energy bill, save the environment.